good morning day 10 day 10 <laughs> thank you breakfast looking good we got a little omelet bacon biscuit that I don't need little fruits to take to class apple juice and the roomy and everybody else did you say in the group? I said in the roomy <laughs> And everybody else out here this morning. Right, so today we have our second KB knowledge validation test. Um, I don't feel as positive about this one as I did about the first one, but I don't think I'm gonna fail either. So that's all that matters. <laughs> this one obviously just kind of snuck up. Out of nowhere. Um, but it's over there. CRJ, this is the configurations and where everything is on the aircraft. Why do I don't have no straws over there? Thank you. Put it up. Mm -hmm. Good evening, YouTube subscribers. It is 6 27 p.m. And it was another long day. We started off with our PV, no, KV, over um, the CRJ specification. So just kind of where equipment is located on the plane and just a few other things of that sort. And it was our second test and I passed. Got a 98 and it's one silly question. Like, I mean, y'all, the silliest of silliest questions I missed. <laughs> where do you stow your flight attendant, flight attendant luggage? Not, no, no, not where do you stow your flight attendant luggage? Where in your IPM do you look to find where to stow your flight attendant luggage? Anyways, I passed, but it was a little difficult for more than half the class there's 23 people in my portion of the class and only nine of us passed the test a lot of people ended up getting between a 84 and a 88 so it's only I think they said eight or nine of us actually passed so basically the whole class will have to do the retake on that um, Saturday because we're off tomorrow, Friday, Lion King tomorrow. Oh, and then after that, what did we do? Oh, we did first class cabin service training. So our onboard, I forgot what they're called, onboard support team or they're called something. They came in today and basically showed us, um, where everything in the galleys are with first class, you know, how to do service and all of that. So that was a four hour class today. Um, and then now we are transitioning to learning a new aircraft because we've done all our testing on the CRJ 700, uh, which is, just so crazy. I don't know if I mentioned it before, I may have, but they're actually phasing out that aircraft from the airline. They say we only have eight, nine, less than 10 of them left. They're all in Chicago, um, but they're getting two new aircrafts each month. So it seems like as two new aircrafts come in, they get rid of another CRJ. But we still have to be qualified to fly on it um, because we're reserved flight attendants. Well, really, because we're a part of the company and the company still flies them. So we need to be certified on everything, all fleet of aircraft that they have, even if they're getting rid of it. Um, so anyway, so we completed all of our CRJ training. They say that's the hardest aircraft. So our class, our half of the class got to knock it out first. The other half of the class they have on a different aircraft just, I guess, to kind of balance out the schedule and not have us all clustered into one area at all times. So now we are moving on to the Embraer 140, 145. It's the smallest plane I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> Honestly, 
Um, I think I commuted on it one time. Um, where was I going? I think I was going from like DCA to, um, I don't know, but it's a very small plane. We have the um, Embraer 140 and the Embraer 145. Basically same aircraft, the configurations are different. One holds 44 customers, the other one holds 50 people. And when I say coming through the entry door of the aircraft, I like literally have to duck my head. I'm just, the the height of the ceiling. I told y'all you have to be you can't be over five eleven to work at this airline because specifically because of that plane. Like if you're taller than that, you won't be able to stand up straight comfortably on that aircraft. I'm five nine, so I still really don't have that much room. Five nine without heels. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we started learning that aircraft today. Um, and did a three hour class in the evening over the specifications and configurations of that. So that will be what we're focusing on over the next week or so, I think. Um, yeah, that was really it. So I'm just hoping that everyone that did not pass the test does pass it on Saturday because two of the people that failed the first test from my class also failed this one today. So I think I think we get a total of three retakes but it can't be on the same test. You know like you get one retake per test but you can fail I think three and there's only a total of five um, computer-based tests. So I'm praying that they they do good. Because if, if they fail the retake, then, you know, they get released anyway. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I've offered a few people in the class to come study with me. You know, just maybe give them a different perspective of, you know, trying to learn some of this stuff. Um, it's, you know, training is... The way that these trainings are set up, they teach you step by step, and then at the end, you basically put all the steps together, and then it finally makes sense. But while you're going through it, you, it's hard to connect things and make it make sense in your head. And if things don't really make sense in your head, at least for me, if it doesn't make sense in your head, then it's hard to, to actually learn it. Because you're wondering, like, well, you can read it on a piece of paper, you know, but if you don't have clear understanding, you know, comprehend it, then you're not really learning anything. So, you know, luckily for me, I have previous airline experience. And then even when I was at training um, two years ago, um, I had my friend Fawn, who has trained with like every airline in the world I was. Um, when I had like little questions like that, she was there to help me make it make it make sense so I just kind of want to do that for some people if they're accepting of the help you know everybody has different s study ways and things like that and I get that but I just hate to see anybody leave or get kicked out but hey it is what it is I don't know what what's going on with the um, um, class A we're class B and then there's class A I couldn't tell you who passed or failed their test. I don't know what they got going on. I just know that they went to class after us today and got back to the hotel before us today, which is <laughs> mind boggling. <laughs> but whatever. So, well, I guess they were only 15 minutes behind us. So, my class be having 10,000 questions. That's what the issue really is. But hey, ask all the questions you need so you can be, have clarity, understanding. Especially on this Embraer because it's on one flight to the aircraft and I need you to know what you're doing. Safety first. Anyways, I'm about to take a nice little, I don't even know if I'm going to nap. I am tired, but we're off tomorrow, so who knows. I'm going to watch some TV and just chill a little bit. See y'all. See y'all when I see y'all. Okay. Do a telephone to release this one. Yeah. That's now, what they look, show this. Is, this. You this is, the wrong now, now you this is the wrong open, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is easy right here. Drop yeah. here. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to our second off day of training. It is Friday, July 19th. <sighs> and we had a lot of fun last night, sat out by the pool, maybe had a beverage or two, and just kind of decompressed from the week and all the testing. And you know, just training atmosphere. We just kind of wanted to get away from it. Um, Brittany and I, I'm trying to, I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera, I'm trying to get my dang on Hulu to connect to this TV so I can catch up on Handmaid's Tale, which I really don't have a lot of time, um, because Brittany's getting out of the shower right now and we're about to head to go watch Lion King. Y'all know, y'all know that I am a Beyonce fan, and yeah. So we have this wonderful day off and we're gonna go do that and maybe get some food or whatever because we don't get lunch on our off days. The hotel does not provide lunch for us so we have to figure that out on our own. They do still provide breakfast and dinner though. So yeah. Um, I just kind of wanted to check in. That's all that's going on right now. So I'll see y'all after lying. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to day 12, Saturday, July 20th. It's 7.15 a.m. Everybody thinks it's Monday, by the way. I don't know what day of the week it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have Mr. Johnny teaching us today. I like him, though. He has good energy. So him and Diane, I think they'll be a good duo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got my dry cereal to go. I got some fruit. Dry cereal? I don't like cereal. I actually don't even drink milk, so I don't even know why. That was my... No, no, actually. And I've always been like that. I gotta block my big up and use my head to block the light. I yeah. Anyways, we're gonna be on the Embraer aircraft today, pretty much all day long. We're supposed to get out at 3:45 today, but we're supposed to be saving hours as well, so maybe we'll get out at 2:45. But I highly doubt it. So, cheers to another day of class. See y'all later. What was today? Hello. Welcome to I'm fixing my boobs. Wow. Welcome. Welcome, to Welcome back to the day of devastation. Because we lost two more people today, y'all. It's always just so heartbreaking to lose people in training. Like, it felt like a death. But, like, I don't know if death can be many. But it felt like... Death can be many. <laughs> It, it just it felt like loss because it was loss you know and it was just really unexpected for the most part so they did their retake and you know you have to get a 90 or above and if you fail your retake you gotta go and I think they both got like an 88 or something just one question shy so that was just unfortunate but the good thing about here is I guess they'll invite them back to the next training class. I don't really know all the details on that. I'm used to, you know, if you fill out, you kind of have to wait six months to a year to reapply again or whatever. So that's very nice of them. Which is really weird that like, because if you just interview with them, you have to wait six months. Is this, yeah. So the fact that like you can come to training and Fell, or fell out or whatever, and then reapply. You know, the next very next month. That's or do you even have to reapply? Like, do they just? Oh, I, you know what? I, I don't know. know. Yeah, I don't think. You, I don't think no. You don't have to reapply because you, your status is still 
a new, new hire. hire. So anyways, they, from the talks that I heard, both of them should get an opportunity to come back next month for the next training class. So we'll see how that goes and I hope they'll be able to just make it all the way through because we're I mean this is day 12 so it's not necessary we're not halfway through because it's 31 days of this mess but you know it's like that was the hardest test that we had or they say like the CRJ is the hardest so but like I told y'all like half of the class didn't pass the original test so I guess it was kind of difficult anyways I didn't even tell y'all what time it was it's 348 we got released about 3.30. We went to class 7.30 to 3.30, of course, with that hour lunch break. And so tomorrow we have two more tests. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was looking at that. She gave me, they do change the comforters, cause you know, no, they don't do, they don't, they, what is, did she change the comforters? Was your comforter up like that yesterday? No. <laughs> so maybe they do, because I felt like that was just thrown on the side. And then she changed, I know she changed the sheets and that other little hot thing. But I felt like the comforter was the same. Anyways, hotels, y'all. Mm. Um, but yeah, we have a, what else did we do? We have a KV and a PV tomorrow. Um, and then today we did. Um, we jumped out of plane. We evacuated the aircraft, sit and jump out of the Embraer 140. Um, that was the planned evacuation. And we learned how to do the, uh, evac we, we did all evacuation stuff today on the 140. So tomorrow we will do our procedure validation over that. So we'll have to run through an evacuation drill and then we'll do our knowledge test of the 50 questions um on the computer so i'm about to run some people to the store because i'm a nice kind-hearted person and then me and Brittany are going to come back and study for our exam tomorrow we're just going to go ahead and read through the entire chapter because it's a little chapter just so we don't miss anything we know we don't need to be bothered with any retakes it's stressful enough the way that you know these these trainings are just a lot of information in a short amount of time test 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 so you know having to throw a retake in the middle of learning because they're still moving on and you're still mentally stuck somewhere else you know it's just we don't want to have to deal with that so we're going to study tonight make sure that we know the location of all the emergency equipment all that good stuff and carry on and hope that we don't lose any more people so our half of the class started off with how many people 24 was it 24 yeah 24 and then one person released herself for personal reasons so that was 23 and then we just lost two more people so now we're down to 21 so we've lost three people. We started the entire class off with 46 people. So now we're done to, down to 43 people total. So, and we still have a lot of days to go. Tomorrow's day 13. And we still have to get to day 31. <laughs> so we'll see. What I'm interested to see, this may sound really bad, but what I'm interested to see is that the other half of our class, they're on a different schedule than us. So we're not learning the same aircrafts at the same time just because I guess I guess it's just you know how space permits down there and things like that so they are doing the CRJ last and the CRJ is what took out our two people today so I am just kind of interested to see if if it's just the way that the schedule is set up or if it's really just truly the information that we're learning on the CRJ if it takes any of them out um, but hey, only time will tell. I just know one thing. I'm going to get my wings. <laughs> we. Everybody in 630, this, this room. 633 will have their wings, okay? And we will carry on. Um, anyways, let me go change out my clothes and go be an Uber driver for these folks. 
See y'all tomorrow.